Hey guys, Uncle Steph here. So a question I get all the time, which programming language should I learn? Or should I learn Ruby? Should I learn C++? Should I learn JavaScript? So here are the steps you need to take to uh, figure out which language you need to learn. Number one, look at the job opportunities for the different programming languages, for the different stacks that are out there. Look in your area, check it out. How many jobs can you find with Ruby? How many jobs can you find with C Sharp? How many jobs can you find with Python, PHP, JavaScript, and so on? Look around. How many jobs in React? How many jobs in WordPress development, etc.? Before you look for jobs, if you really want to maximize your understanding of the job market, you should learn the basics of coding and development. Just the basics, the fundamentals. This way you have an understanding of what you're looking at. It's kind of like if you're buying a car. If you've driven many different cars, you've driven SUVs, you've driven Audi, you've driven Toyota, you've driven hatchbacks, you've driven pickup trucks, you've driven all these different type of vehicles, one good tip is when you do rentals, rent different type, different brands, different cars, see what you like. Once you understand what you like to drive, then it's a much easier decision in terms of what car you're going to buy based on the criteria, based on what you want. In terms of programming languages, there definitely is an aspect of choice, what you prefer. Some people prefer writing full stack apps. Some people prefer writing uh, lower level code in C and C++. It depends on what you want to do. So again, always pay attention to the job market research that a bit. You may think that ActionScript Flash action script is the best language out there. Problem is, nobody uses it anymore. There's no jobs in it, so it's kind of useless to learn. Although, I'll leave you with this last point. If you learn one programming language, for you to pivot to the next and the next and the next will be very easy because all the modern languages, for the most part, they're all very similar. They're all very similar. So if you learn, for example... JavaScript. You decide, I'm going to learn JavaScript, and you decide that, ooh, not too many jobs in JavaScript, uh, although there are a lot. But let's say in your area, for some reason, there's not too many jobs in JavaScript, or maybe you just don't like JavaScript. That's okay. You will be able to learn Python in a couple days, two, three days, and you get your head wrapped around Python, and you start being competent. So if you happen to choose a particular programming language to learn as your first, and I would choose an easy one, like a JavaScript, a Python, yeah, even a Ruby, something simple, uh, or simpler rather. I would learn that before as your first language, and then afterwards, if you want to get into C++, then go there. Or you want to get into, I don't know, C Sharp or Java, then go there. Why? Because JavaScript and Python and PHP and Ruby, uh, they are much easier to approach. So if you're a noob, I would choose one of those languages. For me, in my own curriculum, I teach JavaScript and I teach Python and then I teach PHP. Those are my choices because A, they're easy to learn. B, they offer a huge range of job opportunities. Uh, well, we'll leave it at that. So there you go. So look at the job market. Try to pay attention to where the demand is in your part of the world. You find that, for example, in Germany, apparently C Sharp is very popular. Whereas you go to India, there's a lot of PHP, for example. So it really depends on where you are, what you want to do. Not a big deal. And you can't learn a wrong programming language. Also keep that in mind. All right, we'll talk soon. Bye.